Hello, in this video we're going to talk about errors on car titles. What are the common mistakes, errors, or defects on a vehicle title? This is Dave at CarTitles.com. There's several errors we see frequently when we're running car titles or getting a title for a vehicle uh, to a person who didn't have one or has uh, difficulty getting a hold of prior owners. The first error that's very common is odometer readings. If you don't have a correct odometer reading, that title may get kicked back from the DMV. The DMVs have a history of odometer readings as they're reported. Uh, they're sometimes reported by uh, smog or emissions inspection sometimes a report of that transfer. So if your odometer reading doesn't match the flow of mileage from prior owners, it's gonna get kicked back. Uh, the second very common error or defect on a title is on the back of the title, there's a place for dealers to assign the title to another dealer. They're not to be used for individual or personal use to assign the title over. And a lot of times people will just keep assigning or selling that car over without getting a new title. And once that's done more than once, that title is void and it gets kicked back. So make sure you read those assignment places that it's a dealer assignment that you're looking at. It's not a personal assignment. By the same token, you don't want to have any cross outs on a title. Cross outs, uh, white out, any type of correction on a title uh, is likely to be voiding that title or kick it back if it's something very severe. On the front of the title, you'll see there's a place for liens. If there was a lien holder on that car, somebody borrowed money on it, had a car loan, that lien has to be released with a signature, an authorized signature from that lien holder uh, on the front of that title. Otherwise, that title still has that encumbrance, has that cloud on it, can't be titled to somebody else. If there's damage, physical damage, to the title itself, if it's ripped, if it's torn, if there's a hole in it, in many cases that's going to make that title no good. You got to start over, get a title in the name that was on the front, and then redo your transfers uh, to the next owner. And that also brings up jumped title. You don't want to jump title from one owner, leapfrogging over others. You want to put the title chain in the proper order so that each owner is accounted for uh, and uh, that their their place in the ownership history is documented. Here's a big one. You have a title, it's signed over the right way, but when you look at it, there's something wrong with the VIN number or the ID number. Sometimes people have two cars, they'll sell one and sign over the wrong title. And that may go on for years and nobody verifies the title on the, uh, the VIN number on the title with the VIN number on the car. Five years later, you find out you have the wrong title. It could be that there's a typo or some error on one of the digits. A lot of times, it's if it's a one or an L, or a one or an I or a zero and an O. Uh, sometimes it's just a flat out wrong digit. Make sure that anytime you have a title that you're accepting from a seller, you match up digit by digit for that VIN number. If it's later than 1980, it should have 17 digits in the VIN number. Make sure each one of them is right. Eliminating all these problems and having a title in your hand will make it easy for you to get that car registered. You don't have to worry about doing a level three title recovery or spending lots of money to get a title for a vehicle that you already own. So car title errors are a big deal. Check them as you're transferring titles and to keep you from having to uh, dot I's and cross T's later. So for more information, you can click on the bottom of this video. It goes to titlerecovery.com. Uh, we can help you out with uh, recovering titles if that's what you need. Um, and also, if you think of somebody else who might want to watch this video, definitely share it with them. There's a share link on the video. Send it over to them. They can get the same information you did. And then we'll see you on the next video.